Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cyproses. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the cycle count in the inventory management. So cycle count in the inventory management is a method that is used for verifying the physical stock of a specific product or a group of product in a warehouse. So it helps to ensure that the quantities that is recorded in the system is equal to the quantities that is available in the warehouse. So basically, the companies calculate the cycle count uh, based on year or it can be calculated within a month or quarterly. Uh, but the suggested way to calculate uh, the inventory cycle count is basically annually. We can also manage the cycle count for a particular location. So Odoo helps you to manage the cycle count based on locations. For managing that, you need to activate the storage locations from the configuration settings of the inventory module. So let's see how can we manage the cycle counts in Odoo 17 inventory management. Inventory cycle counts is basically the way of uh, the counting the products in the warehouse and comparing that with the uh, number of quantities that is recorded in our system. So we know every business will make an inventory count annually. So to manage with the inventory count annually, you can just go to the configuration settings and here you can see we can just set a default date to make the inventory count annually. Where you can just find the um, date that we have set as 31st December and by default this date will be used for making an inventory count annually. Now we can also manage the inventory count for a particular location. To manage uh, the inventory count for a particular location we have to enable the storage location first so that we can just manage with the locations and this allow to track the product in a particular location of your warehouse now as you just move on to the locations in the configuration menu here we can see the default um, warehouse and we can just make a cyclic uh, count over here so currently we have just used the inventory frequency as one day which means we can just make an inventory cycle count every day and here you can see that the last effective inventory date is on 3-28-2024. Now if the expected inventory uh, is on the next day. So if you are just uh, making an inventory count today then if you are setting the inventory frequency as one day then next day also we will be counting the available product in our warehouse and we will be comparing that with the recorded quantity in our system. If you want to change this date, you can also change that and let's set it into 30. And here you can see that the next expected inventory date will be changing over there. And now let's consider different products over here. Here you can see the different products such as um, different things uh, of products are available in our Odoo database. Where I'm going to choose a product as Apple. And now we don't have any products in our own hand. And let me update the quantity of the product right now into 10. Now, as I just update the quantity here, you can see it under the history. That is, we have just stocked uh, 10 quantity in our the warehouse. Like that, that's how we just recorded in our system. Now, if you want to just update the quantities um, to this uh, particular location again, you can do that. So, let me set the quantity as 30. And here, you can see, Odo will calculate uh, the 30 quantities, but... Uh, here are the 20 quantities updated and altogether we will have 30 quantity including this uh, 10 quantity. So here you can see uh, Odo will uh, update likewise. Uh, this record already exists because that's why the existing record was modified instead. Now you can just close this pop-up and lay it drawn. If you want to know the history again, you can just go to the history button and that um, existing products and the movement of the product will be shown over here. Now let's move on to the um, product and here we can find a button called more where you can also find the inward movement and outward movement of the product. So currently you can see that we have the inward movement of the product which means we have currently 30 quantity in our warehouse and uh, first uh, there has a transaction of 10 quantity and later on there were a transaction of 20 quantity. Now we can also manage the inventory adjustment for any of the product that is available in our um, Odoo database. In order to do the inventory adjustments, you can just move on to the operation tab where you can find a section called adjustments and choose the physical inventory. Here you would be able to find all the products. Now there are uh, different ways to apply the on-hand quantity and counted quantity. 
So if you want to apply the on hand quantity and counted quantity instantly, you can just choose the set button so that you can see that auto will automatically set the on hand quantity and counted quantity. Now, if you want to just um, clear this quantity, you can just choose the inventory adjustment and click on clear. Or you can also uh, select multiple quantities over here. See, you can uh, choose the multiple inventory adjustments from here and click on clear and you would be able to find the change that is going to apply. So let me uh, choose multiple quantities and click on clear. And here you can see that this will discard on all unapplied counts and if you want to proceed, let's click on um, I mean continue and see the difference in the window. And here we can see a, a button called history and that shows all the uh, movement of transactions of the product uh, with the quantities, units, status and all. Now let's back to the inventory adjustment and here you can see that we have just made uh, the inventory adjustment with a particular location and here you can see the schedule date and all. So we know we can just set an inventory uh, cycle count for a particular location and all by setting the frequency date. So as we uh, just made a cycle count on a particular date, that date will be affected here and that schedule date will be reflected here. Now uh, let me choose one of the uh, inventory adjustment over here and let me set the quantity as 5 over here. So this shows the counted quantity as 5 and on hand quantity as 30 which means from this we can conclude that the counted quantity in our warehouse is just 5 but the on hand quantity that is recorded in our system is 30. So there is a mismatch of 25 quantity um, and the difference will be shown as um, negative 25 and that will be indicated in red color. And the other cases we can just consider a product that uh, that is having an on hand quantity of 0 and I am setting the uh, counted quantity as 20 and here you can see that the on hand uh, quantity is 0, counted quantity is just 20 and the difference is set to uh, 20 in green color. This means that we have 20 quantity of the product in our warehouse but we haven't recorded it in our system as the on hand quantity. Now if you want to apply this you can click on apply and you can just directly apply that. And uh, we have different options in Odoo uh, to apply and clear the quantities. So um, we already uh, discussed about the clearing of the quantities and if you want to apply anything over here you can just set the quantities like uh, 5 quantity and later on let me set 3 quantities and let me click on apply and you would be able to find that we can just make an, in in an inventory adjustment by setting the uh, internal reference. So here we are just making a, an inventory clean so you can just set a likewise inventory clean and let's click on update quantities and you would be able to find the change that we have just made. And as you just move on to the history, um, uh, the uh, like the adjustments that we have uh, done will be updated over there, and you can find uh, that also. Here, let's consider the product cabinet uh, that is a large cabinet. As you just move on to the history, here you would be able to find the change that we have just made. That is, the reference now has just changed into the inventory clean. Now, let's move on to the inventory adjustment, and there are much more features in our inventory. Uh, counts to be explained and um, let me choose a particular count over here and let me set the count into zero. So if I want to just set the uh, counted um, quantity into zero, let's consider one of the inventory adjustment and let's move on to the actions and set it as zero and here you can find the change. Which means that here in the system we have just recorded three quantity but we don't have any counted quantity so there is a difference of quantities and which from this we can conclude that there are no products uh, in our warehouse uh, that's why the counted quantity is just set to zero. Now let me uh, set a user for the product silo. Here you can choose the inventory uh, adjustment and let's click on the request count where you can just set the inventory date you can also manage with the user and if you want to set the current value you can set the count as current value and let's set that and here you would be able to find uh, that we have just set uh, the current value uh, as the count I mean that is uh, the on hand quantity will be considered as a current value and that will be set for the counted uh, quantity 
and uh, here you can see we have just set Michelle admin as a user. If you want to change the users and all, you can also change that. Now, let me consider uh, another inventory uh, adjustment and just uh, click on request account and uh, we need to leave the counted uh, quantity as empty and we want to make the user over here. So here you can see that the user is currently Michelle admin. I just want to change my user into Mark Tomo. And let's see whether this applies or not. Let's confirm that. So, um, and here you can see that uh, the user is now just changed into Mark Tomo. So, it's very easy to manage with the inventory cycle count and inventory adjustments in Odoo. And this makes the uh, counting of your inventory much more seamlessly and keeps uh, your inventory uh, preventing from the shrinkage or stock outs of the products. Cycle counts helps to identify and prevent the shrinkage and stock outs in the inventory. So I hope this video clarifies how to make use of the inventory cycle counts. And if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyprocess. As always, stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.